Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Meet the Team, except this time we've mixed things up and I've rebranded it as Stronghold and Chill. Um, if you saw the last episode of Meet the Team, now Stronghold and Chill, we brought Nick Tellerhill, um, our marketing manager, down and uh, I asked him a few questions, some about Stronghold, some personal, although not too personal. Uh, but this week, we've brought uh, Tom Ward, our 2D artist. But this time, we're actually going to be playing something that Tom worked on. And he can talk a bit about what, sort of what his input on the game was and what little quirks and sort of 2D illustrations you added and all that sort of stuff. This is not going to be a skilled playthrough. This is meant to be sort of a in the background thing, as most of my attention will be on Tom here. So, okay. Tom, could you explain to the other audience? Sort of how long you've been at Firefly, what, what you do here, sort of what games you've worked in it on since you've been here. Okay, so I've been at Firefly for six years now, which means that Nick's been here for seven. <laughs> is, that, is that how you calculate it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been here six years. I came on as a junior UI artist for yeah. Stronghold Crusader 2. And then I was also working on bits and pieces of uh, Stronghold Kingdoms, smaller projects, working on um, Redacted and Redacted and Redacted. What about Redacted? Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and Redacted. Oh, um, okay, cool. Yeah, so work, working on those. We're, we're, we're playing some Crusadity right now, yeah. so for all the people watching this gameplay right here, mm. could, we, could you take us through sort of what directly on this screen right now you sort of had some effect on? Everything you interact with in terms of building, building anything, the mini map, um, knowing your popularity. Yeah. Um, so all these guys up here, yeah, I'm highlighting. Um, the key that was asked of me, try and bring down the size of the UI and yeah. bring all the UI. To make it more presentable and yeah. easy to understand. Yeah, and, and to give, give you more room. Yeah. over when when you're playing um i did a lot of the photography you might want to say of all of the um icons so all these guys down here that i'm going over now yeah so i set them up in 3d software and basically photographed them yeah and edited them and then added the different resources over them uh, all of the icons yeah for um all of these things not the 3d icons mm -hmm. um the buildings on the mini map as well they're tiny um but i also did all can of them yeah can we we can zoom in a tiny bit yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah these ones so they, they they all they all have individual buildings yeah for, for each of them so they correspond Different to the sort of rectangles and squares yeah yeah but they they correspond directly to the different buildings even down to um, like the victory screen or the lost screen Mm. Got a couple of different ones of those in. Favourite game of all time, any genre, in d let's say excluding Stronghold, of course. Excluding <laughs> Stronghold, of course. Sonic 2. Just the fact that you could just go and just grind it out and really just kind of get yourself beaten up. Was yeah, that like your first serious game, if you know what I mean? I think it's the first game that I spent a considerable time in. Um, I'd, I'd say that Warcraft 3 is up there as well. Oh, yeah, yes. Warcraft. Do you ever do the, the mods and stuff? No, I didn't. Oh, no. the Lord of the Rings. There was a battle from the other Lord of the Rings mod on Warcraft 3 that I used to play like <laughs> crazy. And obviously all the tower defense and stuff. Yeah. Weirdly, even though I became a massive Dota 2 fan, I never played Dota in uh, Warcraft okay. 3. Never, never touched it. So did you, did you always want to be sort of uh, in the video game industry? Um... Or was it sort of a late There was thing? always that, that hope that I could potentially do something. Yeah. I was well into my like um, modding computer and stuff, mm -hmm. even though I didn't play mods, funny enough. Um, I did build my own, like my first com computer I built. I was a big PC geek, and then like going to college, mm -hmm. everything was Mac orientated. Yeah. Oh, the industry has Macs and stuff. They don't. They really don't. So, to, to get a bit romantic, yep. um, don't worry, I'm not going to kiss you really. <laughs> what would you say was your happiest memory at Firefly so far? Being able to go to, uh, it was a couple of shows. Yeah, did a rest. Shows. Yeah. Shows um, actually being able to interact with people face to face. Yeah. Um, 
and getting to know them a little bit and mm -hmm. the fact that they like being there and kind of discussing what they liked about the our other games and uh -huh. and that sort of thing and trying to come back to the office and do them justice yeah because and do all the fans justice really and try and give them they give you like little uh incentives yeah, <laughs> like i don't want to let derek down yeah, yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> to, to sour that yeah i'm gonna ask you for your worst my worst yeah so it could be literally like we ran out of milk or something. <laughs> yeah, run out of toilet paper. <laughs> I blocked the toilet this one time and it was a catastrophe. I guess it was the, the great plight of uh, soda and biscuits that we had a couple of months ago. <laughs> Life's so hard. Yeah, it's so, so hard. A bit of a light-hearted uh, surface question to pull you out of that, you know, despair. <laughs> if you had to choose one to totally eradicate from your life, would it be beer? Tea or coffee? Uh, beer. Ooh, healthy. Ooh. Healthy boy. Yeah, healthy. Exactly. That, that would be the reason. I do like a good beer. Okay. So this is, this is probably the biggest question. So how did you end up at Firefly? And what would you say to somebody trying to get to exactly where you are today? Like your <laughs> position. How far are we going back? If they're, let's say, 16, they've just... Or in terms of international, to make it relevant to international people, They've graduated, so they've graduated from like high school or secondary school or whatever the, like the equivalent right. is. So yeah, I did the college course, um, but to get into college I had to do a whole art book. They said that I wasn't quite good enough to get into college. Okay. So I had to do a whole art book and then present it when I got there. I gave it to my teacher and she chucked it to the side. Don't know, don't know what happened there, but yeah, so I did a whole, whole art book of work, body of work. Um, then I took extra life drawing classes at college. So just sticking your head down, doing loads of extracurricular stuff. Yeah. Um, what about sort of uh, portfolios and that sort of thing? That came right at the end um, because... Is that, is that when you're actually like applying for jobs? Yeah, that's... Uh, well, no, because you still need a portfolio of your artwork for going to university. They need yeah. to see that you can draw oh, and yeah, that you yeah, can... Yeah. The foundation, the foundation was like fine art and photography and animation and yeah. video and all of that photography and all of that as well as graphic design and illustration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the reason that I didn't get into the university is because the graphic design courses I was looking at said that I was an illustrator and the illustration courses said mm -hmm. that I was a graphic designer. I see. So I was in this flux and I was like, I don't know yeah. what to do. I managed to get onto a course of illustration. Businesses don't want to see what you've done at college or at university. They want to see what you do outside. Interviewed for a few things and then got um, interviewed here and got the job. You can do it by going through like I did, or you can literally pick up pencils, pick up uh, an iPad um, or on a PC or whatever, and just go at it and learn. There's loads of resources, there's loads of people that yeah. you can, you know, take inspiration off mm -hmm. um, and just build a portfolio of work. So moving on, again, getting back up to the sort of surface. Mm -hmm. Favorite musician, or it could be a DJ, or a band, or a solo of all time. So I've got Linkin Park. They were like my first kind of back in the day. Yeah, 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 for sure. Everyone, yeah. I'm pretty sure everybody liked Linkin yeah. Park when they were like Meteoria, Mete Meteora, uh, Hybrid Theory, that's all. Hybrid Theory was the first, I think, album that I bought with my own money that I earned. Yeah, mine was, you were here at Rasmus. Yes. Yeah, mine was Rasmus. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Happy Rasmus. Yeah, there, oh, there it is, there it is. Um, so, yeah. Oh, um, so yeah, Linkin Park was my you know, my first proper, and then Slipknot, I think is Solid. probably my favorite. What's your personal favorite Firefly game of all time? Out of all of them you had to choose. And I'm tempted to say you can't choose your own strong representative. <laughs> um, I think it's gonna be Crusader. Solid, yeah. I think 90% of people watching this are gonna agree. <laughs> it's really good fun, like fast paced, fire everywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really good fun. Cool. Super difficult too. Now that we've sort of asked the overarching grand questions and you've answered mm -hmm. them brilliantly, we're going to go very basic in terms of studio life. 
what's like a typical day for a 2D artist or yourself as at, at Farfetch Studios? If you, if you can say you have a typical day. <laughs> typical day. There is a plan to do interface or icons. At the minute mm -hmm. I'm doing a lot of icon work um, yeah. or interface design. Um, but then you you could come to me asking for a... Yeah, uh, like, form, I, like I have today. <laughs> or or uh, a piece of marketing art that I did um, for Nick at some point. Mm -hmm. um, anything that could potentially come up for Facebook or for Steam, for Twitter, or uh, if we've got an email campaign, flex and kind of juggle what I've, I'm doing at a certain certain point in the day. Yeah. So yeah, it could be UI work or marketing. It could be a system with another game, or there's a icon that we don't have for Kingdoms Mobile. So I'll go and get that and get that done. Paint some Warhammer. Before before work, not 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 while I'm working. <laughs> so that's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> What's your highest number of hours played in any game ever? So I think it's probably the original Counter Strike when that came out. Mm -hmm. But at the time there wasn't really a count or anything, yeah. so it could be a couple of thousand. I played it every night for a good like two three hours a night. So I'll just finish with. What are you doing after this interview? Go into the loading bar, secret weapon down there, um, where they have on every Tuesday, uh, Warhammer, Age of Sigma, um, Shade Spire kind of night. Nice. Um, so you can go down there, uh, chill out with a few friends, um, and maybe play. Get super yeah. drunk before work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Tom, for joining me. I uh, appreciate you taking the time to do this at the very tail end of the day. Um, <laughs> That's all right. If you did like the video, if you did like this new sort of new setup we're doing with the whole uh, meet the team or stronghold and chill as I want to call it. I'm not sure if that's the official title yet and I'll have to ask Nick if I can do that. But you know, that's the hope. Uh, if you did like the video, make sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel um, and leave a comment if you have any suggestions for how it'll, it'll, be, it'll be done there. Down there. But uh, yeah, if you, if you do have any comments on sort of how to improve the show, um, then let us know and whether you like the whole playing while interviewing. Still didn't die though. Didn't die. That's, that's the positive. Anyway, thanks very much and we'll see you next week.